I've been trying, I hope you know And you've been hiding just to show That you don't want me I've been putting my best out, I hope you see But all you see is the worst in me And all my insecurities I'm Davis Gastier and I attend Walt Whitman High School in Bethesda, Maryland. What does music mean to you, sir? Um, well, I really started getting into music after uh, I lost my best friend and girlfriend mm. at the time to cancer. And I started writing songs to cope with her death. And just from there, I, we, I, me and my sister were in a duo. I really got interested in music. and. We put songs on iTunes and all the um, proceeds go to a Children's National Medical Center in her honor. So uh, music, just from that, it means a lot to me because I do it in her honor. So do you want your music to um, help with people that's going through some of the things that you yeah. went through? Yeah, definitely. The song I'm uh, recording right now is actually called Wannabe. And it's about, because I, it, it was at such a young age, I really didn't... No, I knew it was happening, but I really didn't find out. Like, there are reasons, like, she didn't want to see me because she didn't have her hair because oh. of the chemo. And it was just a really, a lot of dark stuff that I couldn't take at age eight. So I was, I've been hearing all these stories. I wrote it about a year ago about everything. And it's basically about how you know, the lyrics are, you might say you're okay, you might say you're fine, but you say it all the time. And that's how I know it's a lie. So basically all the cancer patients, as they're in their treatment, you know, someone will come and say, how are you doing? Are you fine? And every time they say, I'm, I'm doing all right, which is false. So do you find that um, your writing is therapy for yourself? Uh, yes, it definitely is. Losing someone at such a young age is really hard for me. And I've been doing music since I was five years old in school talent shows. So writing for her, or getting into music because of her and writing for her really like gets me in the heart I guess yeah so is this that the reason why you want to make this your career yes definitely definitely I wanna all the songs on iTunes I currently have three hopefully the song I'm recording right now will go up too but all the proceeds go to Children's National Medical Center and laps for Lexi which is her uh, 5k race and walk in her honor do you, um, do you have any musical influences, people that just, that just yeah. touch you? Um, well, I have heard that I have a very obscure taste. I really want to know, I really want to go into alternative rock music, pretty much. And, um, yeah, the obscure bands I listen to, you, you guys probably haven't heard of them, but, uh, Caption the Ballman, and they're huge in Europe, not really much over here. But, um, Kaleo, they're bluesy alternative kind of jake bug is i would say folk country and then i'm influenced by a lot of the classics like uh, led zeppelin bob dylan obviously those people like that so 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 let me just say you should check out skillet and flyleaf all right yeah they're they're dope <laughs> mm -hmm. um you talked about like your 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 girlfriend that you mm -hmm. had when you were about eight years old and um i'm just i'm curious to know about who supported you and helped you like start this cause well because me and my sister started at such a young age um we just knew that writing songs or do we just knew that music was a way to cope with her loss and basically they started this race laps for lexi and the parents knew i sang so the first year it happened they said hey do you think you could sing a song in her honor and I was like, yeah. sing a song, why don't I just write a song for her? Wow. So every year after that, I think it's been like about seven years that Laps for Lexi has been up and running. Every year I come back with an original song and sing it for her. That's Thank incredible. You. Thank you. That is, you are to be commended. You have a huge heart. Thank um, you. Do you use your music outside of um, that particular cause? Are there any other causes that you're concerned about? Um, well, I do uh, Down Syndrome Awareness, too, because we're really close with the family with a child with Down Syndrome, and it's called Race for Respect, and basically it's um, spread the word to end the word, the R word, basically. So I do that. That's another charity thing I do. And yeah, cancer, a lot of stuff with cancer at my school. I'm very involved, and um, at Lobster Lexi, obviously. 
So if you could, if you could put a, a, a style, and I and I hate doing this because <laughs> um, sometimes your music doesn't fit yeah. a particular genre. Mm-hmm. But when it comes out, what genre would you say it's connected to? So since I'm at uh, such a young age, I'm only 16. I'm. I know I want to do something in alternative. I'm not sure if it's alternative rock or like more blues toned. So I all the originals I write, they're all alternative, just they might not be in the same pile of like the alternative genre. Yeah. So yeah, pretty much. Alternative I know, but I write a bunch of blues, I write al- alternative rock, classic rock. Um I sometimes write folk. I started off really poppy and uh, my perspective kind of changed on that and I moved farther and farther away from that. I like, I like your swag, man, because I, <laughs> like, I like rock and Thank I like uh, Neo Soul mm-hmm. and fusing all of that stuff yeah. together, a little bit of go-go because I got DC influence. <laughs> um, tell us about why you decided to wear what you're wearing today. Um, well, first off, black is a um, rock color, I would yeah. say. And um, first off, I'm wearing a Levi's Western shirt, quality shirt. I think you should buy it. But um, <laughs> uh, the Levi's Western shirt, it's kind of a bluesy shirt. It gives off, um, well, obviously, a bluesy vibe. Also, I was told I kind of look like a skater guy, which is also in the alternative <laughs> genre. So, yeah. Well, we are so excited that you joined us. Um, Thank you we're for looking having forward me. to um, having a little bit of alternative edge and swag added right. to the mix awesome. so we can't wait to hear from you and we mm-hmm. wish you the best all right awesome thank, thank you, you so much because you might say you're okay you might say you're fine but you say it all the time